Hi. In this video, we'll be talking about manipulating digital images. So we've seen that images are made of pixels. Pixels are the tiny building blocks of any image you see on your screen. They're tiny squares that each have their own color encoded by the RGB color encoding scheme. So we now have a system for encoding images as numeric data. We have a way to represent any image we want as just a series of simple numbers. And what's awesome is that we can manipulate those numbers to modify the image. This is what's so great about representing information in a digital form is it becomes very easy to use programs to tweak those numbers to modify the data and we get a brand new image, a brand new result. For example, let's look at a brightness filter. This is something that we commonly see with digital images is we want to make an image brighter. We can do that with a brightness filter. So let's say we had a pixel with the RGB value 120, 20, and 220. In order to brighten this pixel, all we have to do is add to each of these numbers. So what we'll do is we'll add 50 to the R value, add 50 to the G value, and add 50 to the blue value. If we add the same amount to each channel, we will keep the color the same and we'll just brighten it. Now there is one catch here, is that since each channel cannot go above 255, we'll need to make sure that if any of these values go above 255, we chop it and cap it at 255. So we'll just use math.min. We'll take the minimum between 255 and adding 50 to the current value. And we see that here, the blue channel, adding 50 should result in 270, but since 270 is too high, we'll cap it at 255. So that's how we can brighten a pixel. And what if we wanna do that for an entire image? If we want to apply a brightness filter to an image, we just do this process for every single pixel. We will loop over all pixels in the image and apply the brightness filter to each pixel. Set the R to R plus 50, G to G plus 50, and B to B plus 50, of course capping at 255. If we want to darken, we'll just subtract the same value from each. We'll subtract 50 from each color channel. And the catch here is that channels can't go below zero. So if any of them go negative, we'll need to cap it at zero. So we'll take the maximum between zero and subtracting 50 from the channel. And if we do this for every single pixel, we will get a darker image. What's cool is say we only do it for half the pixels. Now we'll get half the image darker and half the image the same. So by doing these simple manipulations to the underlying pixel data, to the digital data that encodes images, we can create these really cool results. We can make these really interesting image filters. Sepia, black and white, inverted color, all of these really cool filters that you see on apps like Instagram or Facebook, all of these filters are done with a similar process. You just modify each pixel according to a function. Let's explore this in the editor.